Hey there, West Michigan. Thanks for watching 13 Weather Plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barons. It's going to be another nice day as we head towards Sunday, much the opposite of where we started things off early in the day on Saturday. That was with several thunderstorms that came through, and we got a lot of cool videos of the lightning. This picture came in from Don just showing how frequent the lightning was over in the Alto area the other night when it came to those storms. And then another picture from Shelby. Arlene took this video wait for that big lightning bolt to come through. There it is. Impressive stuff coming through the other night. Thankfully, storms did die off before we made it into Saturday and Saturday was quite enjoyable across the region. Of course, if you ever take a weather photo, you can send it to us here on social media. Find me on Facebook, meteorologist Michael Barons, and on the X Twitter and Instagram at Mike Barons WX. Temperatures out there on Saturday hit a high of 80 in Grand Rapids, 79 Muskegon and 78 in Holland. Pretty close to average for this time of the year in a bullseye with the forecast. Told you 80 hit 80 bullseye for today. When it comes to tomorrow, temperatures will be about the same as they were today. That's why 13 weather ball is lit up in green as no change is foreseen. The 13 weather ball is sponsored by LaFontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. And those temperatures as of about 10 o'clock were still mild across the region, hanging around in the 60s and even 70s. Dew points in the low 60s, so there's just a touch of humidity in the air. And as we go through tonight, temperatures are going to drop close to those dew points. That could generate some fog by early tomorrow morning. The other factor that's going to be at play for fog possibility is light winds. In fact, most of the winds have already gone calm across West Michigan, and that means we could see that fog develop as temperatures drop and the winds stay calm through early tomorrow morning. We'll see sunshine though as we head throughout the day tomorrow. If temperatures that'll boost back to around 80 with clouds increasing by the time we head towards Sunday night. Your day planner mostly clear with some fog developing overnight. 59 degrees for Sunday. 79 mostly sunny. Again, that fog possible early. Monday sees a change in the forecast. Cloudy skies with showers and storms coming in. All of us should see rain temperature up to around 75 by Monday afternoon. No rain as of Saturday evening though quiet radar across the region and for that matter most of the Great Lakes quiet as well. Some rain up to the north along Lake Superior and to the north of Lake Huron into portions of Canada, but that won't be a problem for us. And in fact, the only thing we have to watch for tonight are a few passing clouds. You can see those trailing across Lake Michigan and back up into Wisconsin here this evening. Hour by hour forecast shows those clouds working their way through West Michigan. Mostly clear skies, though only a few passing clouds as we head through tonight. Again, that fog possible early tomorrow. We'll be mostly sunny as we head through the day Sunday, turning partly cloudy by the time we head towards Sunday evening. That'll push toward all the way cloudy by the time you wake up Monday morning. That's when we're going to start to track showers and storms that'll push into West Michigan. Most of this comes in Monday afternoon, and we're looking at some pretty good rainfall here. This is going to be a widespread soaking rain, not expecting severe weather as of now, but we'll keep a close eye on these storms as they come through. Rain continues as we head toward Monday night and early Tuesday. It won't be until after Tuesday morning and into the afternoon that we finally push the rain out and we get back to dry weather as we head toward the midweek. So again, expect that soaking rain as we head toward the start of this coming work week. Temperatures out there for your Sunday hanging around in the 70s for the lakeshore. Conditions in our northern zones will be mid to upper 70s with upper 70s to right around low 80s for Grand Rapids down to Kalamazoo. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. <laughs> Temperatures cool to start the week, but we warm right back up by Wednesday. Another round of showers and storms on Thursday before a dry pattern settles in heading toward next weekend and some of the warmest temperatures of the summer too. We're going to see another return to a pretty good summer like heat wave by the end of this 10 day forecast. In fact, temperatures by day nine may get close to 90 degrees yet again before this August is done. The 13 on your side beach and boating forecast sponsored by AAC Credit Union. And now it's time for your beach and boating forecast. Calmer waters tomorrow as we head throughout the day. Sunday had some bigger waves to kick off Saturday, but not expecting those around tomorrow. One to two foot waves over Lake Michigan. Again, with cloud cover increasing as we head throughout the day. Winds coming in from the north along Lake Michigan. Water temperatures out there. They'll be mild hanging around in the low 70s all across the West Michigan shoreline.
and staying on the lake with our next story. Members of the Mona Shores football team are about to have a once in a lifetime experience, but one of the most talked about stories of the summer nearly threw a wrench in their plans. 13 on your sides, Matt Gard shows us what happened and who saved the day. Last year we played a team like a matter to walk for a school in Wisconsin, which is really like just west of Ludington. And, and they took the, bat, the SS Badger over last year, uh, took it into Ludington, drove down and played a game. Uh, they stayed a couple of days uh, with us, uh, and now it's our turn. Only one problem. The SS Badger's ramp was damaged earlier this summer, and it's done making trips across the lake for the season. We were scrambling with that, but uh, and the Lake Express stepped up, and we're just incredible. Uh, it's helping us out because it is a little bit more expensive than the Badger and they kind of met us halfway so it made us able to do that so kudos to the Lake Express. We're looking forward to hopefully giving a memorable trip uh, to all those uh, student athletes and obviously the coaches as well. Uh, this will be a little different than the normal bus trip. The sailors will leave port here in Muskegon on Thursday, August 24th. They will have team dinner with their opponents from Manitowoc that very same night. And come Friday, it's game time. It's awesome to have another opportunity to just one last time spend a, a, a week in a hotel with my best friends in the whole world. How many high school players can say that they traveled across the state or even across the uh, whole lake. It certainly is a special opportunity these days, but it used to be more common. I was talking to Ron Pesha, historian of this area uh, with Big Red football and just Muskegon football, and he said, I said, I don't know if anyone's ever done that. And he said, I guess in the, in the 20s, they used to do it all the time where teams took it across and played. So hasn't been a while, but I'm super excited to do it. It kind of puts things into perspective when you have kids from Michigan and you know eating dinner with each other from uh, kids from Wisconsin the game before. So I think that's pretty special in itself too. Reporting in Muskegon, I'm Matt Gard for 13 on your side. And to Kent County now where there's a new way to clean up PFAS here in West Michigan. A water treatment plant in Wyoming is using new technology they say can destroy the toxic forever chemicals. It's called the PFAS Annihilator. The process starts with contaminated water using air bubbled to grab and separate the chemicals from the clean water. That's the finished product after we're done. We've effectively annihilated any organic molecule, PFOS or no, in the material, in addition to treated other, other contaminants. So this is just water with a little bit of salt in it. That water will then go through the treatment facility as normal and is able to be used in homes. And staying in Kent County, the West Nile virus has been found in a county mosquito trap. This is the first time the virus has been found in the county this year. The pool of tested mosquitoes was collected late last month near the border between Byron and Gaines townships. This is not a human case, but the Kent County Health Department is still urging people to take precautions to avoid mosquito bites, which includes wearing bug spray with DEET and staying inside as much as possible during dusk and dawn. And if you are heading outside this evening, stargazers are excited about a big event that's happening. Well, tonight, the Perseid meteor shower. The Grand Rapids Public Museum is teaming up with the Grand Rapids Amateur Astronomical Association to put together a watch party of sorts at the Bean Observatory near Lowell. The event runs from 9 Saturday night through 430 Sunday morning. The Perseid meteor shower comes around every year, and that's because the Earth is moving in an orbit around the Sun, and every year we move uh, to intersect this debris field, and that debris field is actually the debris from a very famous comet called the Swift-Tuttle Comet. So uh, every year we move through it, and uh, the small particles, they collide with our atmosphere and light up, and it gives quite a show. And if you want to go, it costs $5 for adults and $2 for those under 18 years old. People are encouraged to bring blankets and or sleeping bags to enjoy the night 
under the stars and it should be quite a night to enjoy because we're looking at the possibility of as many as 60 plus meteorites per hour coming through the skies there. Lots of shooting stars to see the peak again will be tonight, Saturday night into early Sunday, but the event overall goes from the 11th, which was yesterday all the way through Sunday. You want to look off toward the northeast for the best viewing when it comes to sky conditions as we head through tonight should be looking pretty good, mostly clear skies overnight with only a few passing clouds time to time. Although for the most part, again, skies and views should be uninterrupted and a new moon means if you're out away from city lights, viewing conditions should be just about close to perfect. And now you're up to date with the latest forecast here in West Michigan and some weather related news stories. You can always find more online at 13 on your side.com or by downloading our news and weather apps. Of course, now, uh, well, thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens. Hope you have a great day.